How many of y'all really believe that the attack on 9-11 wasn't planned? Why do they keep pushing that stuff, trying to get us to be dumb enough to believe it? Of course it was planned. And the Obama administration dropped the ball. That's all there is to it. He was so busy trying to get reelected that he didn't have time to take care of what should be taken care of. No one should have been allowed to travel on 9-11 from the embassy to uh, whatever you call that. What is that called? I don't know, it's not really important, but it wasn't an embassy they got. It was a consulate, that's what it was. And he had two bodyguards, two, on 9-11, and they want us to believe that this wasn't planned. Yeah, it was planned and it was inside. People knew he was going to be there, People told, they knew how many guards he would have. Now this man suffered and so did the others. And their families have to live with this crap because we didn't protect them. And now they want us to believe that it was all spontaneous over some stupid video on YouTube. I looked it up, it was the most awful done thing I've ever seen. Whoever produced it is an idiot. It didn't make sense and I guarantee you those people that killed those men had not even seen this video. It's ridiculous. I couldn't even watch it because it didn't make sense. It was so stupid. But guess what? Valerie Jarrett. Hmm. She's Obama's right hand. She follows him from the West Wing to the private quarters every night, I understand. Very close. Tells him what to do. Probably runs the frigging government, if you want to know the truth. She has secret service details, 24 seven, door to door. A woman here in America that should have no authority, but has secret service details. Now I understand Carl Rowe had secret service for a few months after 9-11, that was fine. But now we don't need it here in this country. We need protection for our people in foreign countries that are serving us, that are risking their lives. Not for Valerie Jarrett to press around in her little designer clothes and run the White House. And that's all it's gonna be from now on. Y'all just go ahead and vote for her. She has his ear and she was asked from the grapevine I hear, which you know the grapevine can't be very good, but. Some of the administration, some of the advisors thought it wasn't good publicity for her to have Secret Service. They asked her to give it up. Oh, she didn't give it up. It's costing taxpayers. I don't want to protect her. If she wants to be Obama's best friend, that's fine. I don't care. But quit giving her Secret Service on tax dollar. Defend our men and women fighting for our country. And if you think we're stupid enough to believe that on 9-11, y'all didn't have sense enough to know, well, no, we're not stupid. You probably didn't have sense enough to know that it was coming because you're too busy running for re-election. And if you dumbass people re-electing, then we'll get what we deserved. More unemployment, more flying around on planes for trips that we're paying for. And more Valerie Jarrett telling him who to do this with and who to do that with and who the next Supreme Court judge will be. Get alive, people. This man, read his books. Read my dreams of my father. Audacity to hope. He says in there that if the wind starts blowing wrong, he will go with the Muslims. Well, yeah, that's exactly what he did. He's forgotten Israel. Pull our people out. Develop our own oil. Make Obama get off of this crap and open up these oil lines. Get our people out. Leave Israel alone and they will blow the hell out of all those people. Because you know what? They're not as scared as we are. They're not afraid. And all you Jewish people that voted for Obama, you run out there and vote for him again. But don't put on television at Thanksgiving and Christmas how the poor people in Jerusalem need to be helped because they can't uh, celebrate Hanukkah. Take care of them. If you want to vote for this idiot, take care of the Jewish people. But I think the Jewish people over there are not weak and they can take care of themselves. So I say 
Back off, Obama. Leave them alone. Pull our men and women out. Protect our country. Let Israel take care of the Middle East because they can do it. And we don't want Valerie Jarrett running our country. She doesn't deserve secret service. And if she won't turn it down and say no, then Obama needs to do it. But I guess he can't do it unless she tells him he can. Secret service for Valerie Jarrett has to go. And it has to go now. What are we protecting her from?